Hey there everyone, so we have yet another update and that is the general availability of Gemini 2.5 Pro and not only that, we have Gemini 2.5 Pro, Gemini 2.5 Flash, both of these models are in public preview and we have the stable versions of them and we also have a new model called Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite, so I'll be covering that in another video. In this video, we'll be focusing on Gemini 2.5 Pro general availability model. So this means that it will be available in, in all API platforms that Gemini has and also, you know, it is the most stable version. If you head over to Gemini API, you can, you can see its name is Stable Gemini 2.5 Pro. So this should be the best that they have ever come up with. Now, if you look at the benchmarks, actually, there is no difference between this model and the previous version that they have come up with. I mean the benchmark scores are absolutely the same. This means that we have the previous model itself but it's just a bit more stable. I have compared all the top of the line models with Gemini 2.5 Pro in my previous video. If you haven't watched that and you are new, I will be playing that section in this video. So feel free to watch that and if you have already watched it in my previous video, you can skip it and move to the next section. So this is the interface that we'll be looking at today. You can see Gemini 2.5 Pro, the newer version will be mentioned in dark blue. Light blue will be the older version. Cloud for Opus will be in red. OpenAI O3 in yellow and O4 Mini High in green. So starting off with humanity's last exam, you can see the previous model actually scored 18.8% and the previous best was OpenAI O3 with 20.3%. But things have changed guys. The new best is the newer Gemini 2.5 Pro with 21.6%. That is so nice to see. Let's actually move on. Talking about GPQ at Diamond Benchmark, which is a very good graduate level benchmark and uh, is very analogous to reasoning. You can see all models were actually, you know, getting plateaued at 83%. You can see Cloud for Opus, OpenAI O3, O4 Mini High. All of them are near the 83% and I think O4 Mini High is slightly behind. Anyways, the previous best was Gemini 2.5 Pro with a slightly better score of 84%, but that has actually improved by 2.4% percentage points with Gemini 2.5 Pro scoring 86.4% and that is nice. They are out of the 83-84% jail. Moving on to the EIME 2025 benchmark. Here you can see again things have improved. The oldest model scored 86.7% and the newer model has scored 88%. So there's not much of a difference but a slight improvement. Talking about the best, we know that it's obviously OpenAI O4 Mini High with 92.7% and this data is backed by Frontier Math as well. If you go to the Frontier Math benchmark, let me actually show you. So we'll go over to Frontier Math. If we go on to AI benchmarking, you can see the highest model is O4 Mini Medium. But that being said, they have not actually included the latest Gemini models. But that being said, we know the best max model is OpenAI O4 Mini High, even on my website, as, as you can see. By the way, if you want to go on to my website, I'll, I will giving the link in the description so you can actually check out and see what are my model recommendations. By the way, let's move on. Talking about Live Code Bench version 5. So, Live Code Bench is actually an amalgamation of lead code questions, code forces questions. So, all these are competitive coding questions and it's very analogous to, you know, back end coding or server side coding, something like that. Here you can see the older version scored a 70.4%, but the newer Gemini 2.5 Pro is actually 1.4% down with 69%. So, maybe for back end coding, there is a slight hit over there. Talking about the best model according to Live Code Bench, that is OpenAI O4 Mini High with 75.8% followed by OpenAI O3 at 72%. But I do doubt that. The reason is that, you know, competitive coding is somewhere close to, you know, max. And if you look at the underlying logic, you have to actually get the max right. So that could be the reason we are seeing OpenAI O4 Mini High being the highest. But I would argue for backend coding, I guess OpenAI O3 is a very good model. And actually it's very fascinating to see Opus 4 being so back. Anyways, let's move on to Ada Polyglot. So you can know this is a benchmark for code editing across multiple languages. And this is very helpful when you are doing agent coding using IDEs like cursor, command line interfaces or doing an agent coding basically. Here you can see the previous score from Gemini 2.5 Pro was 68.6% and it was actually behind then OpenAI O3. But that has completely changed and we have a new winner with Gemini 2.5 Pro scoring 82.2% with diffs. That is very nice to see actually. So I think when it comes to agent coding, Gemini 2.5 Pro is going to be very good. Let's move on to MMMU single attempt that is massive multidiscipline multimodal understanding benchmark. So this is kind of for visual reasoning. Here you can see all models are actually plateauing at 82% and of course OpenAI O3 is the best with 82.9%. 
that is followed by Gemini 2.5 Pro. Moving on to Sui Bench Verified. Here you can see there is no competition. Here you can see Gemini 2.5 Pro previously scored 63.8% but that has improved to 67.2%. That is nice to see. But anyways, the champion is as always Claude Foropus. When it comes to Sui Bench and real world software engineering tasks, there is no competition with Claude models. So this were all the benchmarks guys. I hope I was able to give you an idea about how where each model stands okay so that were the benchmarks now let's move on to the questions that i have so you know i do regular testing of these models on a small subset that i have if you go on to my website and head over to problem collection you you can see the reasoning max and coding problems that i have so i have mentioned the questions right here so the first question is 64 tennis player question so let me show you the question so that you can test it on your favorite model if that's not mentioned here so this is the question 64 players seeded from seed 1 to seed 64 you have the answer as well you can directly copy the question from here and the question will be copied without the answer you can test it with your favorite model so talking about this particular question 64 tennis player question this was very hard for the models to actually solve but this was before grok 3 thinking came after that it seems that most of the models are able to get this right so let's look at the scores talking about o3 it scores a 10 out of 10. Absolutely awesome. What about Claude 4 Opus? Claude 4 Opus scores an 8 out of 10. What about the previous Gemini 2.5 Pro? The previous Gemini 2.5 Pro scored a 10 out of 10 as well. What about the stable version? The stable version scored a 9 out of 10. So it's a slight back step but not much difference. Let's move on to the next question and that is seating arrangement. So let me show you the question. This is the question seating arrangement and you have the answer as well. So talking about the scores, let's start with Claude for Opus this time. Claude for Opus scores 0 out of 10 and this is a very hard question guys and this kind of behavior is actually expected. What about OpenAI O3? It scores the highest till date that is 6 out of 10. If you are a long time viewer of my channel, you already know this that OpenAI O3 is an absolute beast when it comes to reasoning. What about the older Gemini 2.5 Pro? It scored a 2 out of 10 and this was actually an improvement compared to all previous models because the highest Gemini 2.5 Pro was able to score was 1 out of 10. But that was an improvement and it was able to score a 2 out of 10. What about now the latest model? It scores a 3 out of 10 we see another improvement that is absolutely what we need let's move on to the next question this is jersey number and this is a very hard question guys let me actually show you the question this is the question jersey number and you also have the answer over here so in this particular question claude for opus scores a 1 out of 10 that is nice to see what about openaya o3 even openaya o3 scores a 1 out of 10 i told you guys this is a very hard question and the highest i have got is 1 or 2 what about gemini 2.5 pro older version it scored a 0 out of 10. What about the newer one? Even that scored a 0 out of 10. Let's move on to the final question that is Navy designation. So it's not that hard of a question. You can see this is the question and this is the answer that is mentioned. So what is the performance in this particular question? So Claude for Opus scores a 9 out of 10 and it absolutely nails this particular question. That is nice to see. What about OpenAI O3? Well, OpenAI O3 scores a 5 out of 10. What about the older Gemini 2.5 Pro? It scores a 6 out of 10. And what about the newer one? It scores a 7 out of 10. That is absolutely awesome. We again see an improvement in another question. So if you look at the total scores, that is 18 for Claude 4 Opus, 18 for the older Gemini 2.5 Pro, 19 for the newer Gemini 2.5 Pro, and 22 for OpenAI O3. So we do see a clear improvement in reasoning compared to the previous Gemini 2.5 Pro. But it's still behind OpenAI O3 according to my testing. So you have to keep in mind that this is my testing and things can vary. So it's nice to see that Gemini 2.5 Pro has become a bit smarter. So some of you guys will be mentioning to also you know include O3 Pro but uh, O3 Pro is currently very pricey because it thinks a lot and uses up a lot of tokens and it's not feasible. If you have a ChatGPT Pro subscription then what you can do is just leave a comment on this video. I will give you one out of these four questions and you can test it 10 times and you know tell me what's the result and together we can you know come up with a score for O3 Pro. Of course if you want to help only then. Yes guys so that being said this is the current scenario of the AI space. We are eagerly waiting for Grok 3.5. I think it is calculating its release date from first principles so it is taking some time. So I hope I was able to give you a thorough information. With that being said I'll catch you guys in the next one.